A no commentary version of this run can be found in the pinned comment in the comments section below. This video is intended as a game walkthrough. It is not a speedrun. All strategies in this video were made for efficiency and success rate. Please watch the entire video and listen carefully to the commentary before trying any of these strategies for yourself. Hello everyone, this is my no damage run of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm playing on the PC version on very hard difficulty. I'm running a Netrunner build, starting Nomad, and shooting for the Pan Am ending with Judy. Start, we're choosing female V as a Nomad, specking for 4 body, 6 intelligence, and 6 technical ability. I probably could have gone a little lower on tech so that I could do 6 body and hijack vehicles a little easier, but either way is fine. This playthrough will have to be split across two videos. I'll cut out load times and footage of grinding for money, because nobody wants to see that. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. You can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compress will run on and on. Could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Okay, let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. Right. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a, a few hours past. I, I thought she'd at least called into you. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry, I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. I'll just fix it up and go. I've no reason to linger. <sighs> no, you sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? There's no clan. There's no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. 
Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I saw a broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down and I need to radio somewhere. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. So the rules for no damage, as I've determined for this game, are as follows. Don't take a point of damage from enemies except during the vehicle shooting sections, as that damage is pretty much unavoidable without save scumming and relying heavily on RNG. There's also some forced damage that V will need to take from cutscenes as part of the story, but that won't count either, obviously. The point of this is to show how to efficiently get through every main story mission and ending requisite mission with little resistance. car gave out. The electric coupling, it's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. So we can just drop down off of these. We've got ourselves a little shortcut back to our car. Of course, no damage is also not going to count any uh, damage done to the vehicles as part of like side swiping or anything like that. It's just no damage to V's person, basically, except during the vehicle shooting sequences. So in case you were wondering why the Nomad and why Pan Am ending, the reason for this is because I wanted to do three, possibly four, four playthroughs for each main ending branch, depending on how well this video does. I realize the game is critically panned, but I had a lot of fun with it, wanted to make a video for it, since it's rare that I'm motivated to dump this many hours into a video game, both on stream and off stream. Had a lot of fun with it. No hate. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're here for me. I believe I am. Are you... Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? And, what? Well, gotta take a piss? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess you could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. I started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? A sheriff, you look 
like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. What a fat ass. And I love Jackie. What a great fucking character. So, we headed out? I'm just gonna cut straight across the desert over here. Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. I fixer didn't give you the job deeds. Of course I do. The fixer didn't give you the job deeds. He did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey, you uh should Hey. Water crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. And Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Crazy, there's a border crossing here. Why is there a border crossing to go from South Remain California to North vehicle. California? The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. Ah, it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo was flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Whoa. So they know we're smuggling? Well, they're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docks, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot about that. Right. You forgot. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? I don't think that's any concern of yours. Is that what you believe? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? What happened in there? Young, naive. I'll tell you soon. We you need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You gonna tell me what happened back there? Let's say I have a bad feeling about Oh, happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property.
pretty much all the damage in this driving section here is scripted. When the car drives through certain parts of the Biotechnica farm, you're forced to take a specific amount of damage. I'm not even sure you need to shoot these guys, but I do it anyway, because might as well. Force damage here. Actually, see, like, V took a hit there for a second, and it still didn't actually do damage, but the damage actually procced, like, I don't know, a second later or something like that. So it means that all the damage in this section is completely scripted. more instance of force damage there. The game just reduces your HP. Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us, and he was right. <sighs> so what now? I gotta ask you the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. Can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Oh, and you just figured I would sit by patiently? Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. Just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but you're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Oh shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh my miss. A real iguana. A uh lesser Antillian. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And then see, ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. We got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it, partner. Hey. Oh, cuddly little fucker. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. <laughs> Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you.
with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals, but only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to, uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Elevator, this way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Is that you? Target should be inside, but I got to eyes on her bio mom. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Gonna make our first save after the store. Protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. At the start of this segment, I'm just going to knock out and hide the dude that we saved behind. I just made the save right here because, you know, it's the start of a semi-risky section, I guess. See, so yeah, I got rid of him. He's done. And then I'm just going to loot everything that I can pick up. And then we're going to hide.
So yeah, three and four. Those guys are done. Guy number four is chilling in his bathrobe, blissfully unaware. Loot everything we can. Then we'll roll up on number five and Jackie will take care of guy number six as soon as we grab this dude. I'm checking the bodies here to see if any of them have an assault rifle so I can use it to out DPS the enemies in the vehicle shooting section coming up. This body was the one with the assault rifle. But I didn't grab the assault rifle. Not quite so soon. So V has a couple of quick hacks equipped on her cyber deck by default. Reboot optics and short circuit. Reboot optics will temporarily blind enemies so you can rush them to grab and knock them out or sneak by. Short circuit will uh, deliver an electric jolt to enemies. I attempted to sneak up on this guy but failed gloriously because there was no angle at which I could get behind to grab him quite so fast. He was just standing there, so I decided to take care of him the old-fashioned way, light him up. Let's go. Fortunately, he doesn't try to actually attack you while he's going into the other room to blast through the wall with his heavy machine gun. That was very risky, by the way. Don't do what I just did. I was just trying to loot while I was waiting for T-Bug to open the shutter. It is possible to stealth that guy, though, so you don't have to go through that shooting sequence. I got her. Got our target. Find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. This does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomod. Firmware reconfig or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomob. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomob. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Pulp Fiction. I think. Oh shit! It worked. Fuera, chica. Get her outside. Fuera. Get her out. Terrace. Control. 
So there's that assault rifle. Just gotta equip it before the vehicle shooting section. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. She'll get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Word's out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. Right. For the first two guys, I use short circuit and reboot optics. I shoot the first guy who I use short circuit on first. Sadly, the yeah, reboot optics doesn't proc fast enough to blind the other dude before he hits you. If you aim for the driver when the side door opens and take him out, the other guy will not shoot. Focus on getting home. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold. 
Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. dreams then tell me see I said hi I will I luego good evening night city my first guest tonight is the president of the church of El Bug? forgot earlier a runner I know has something you could probably use zip in your deeds praise be to me our father in heaven and Sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. Got another dry neurovirus. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some dreads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Hey, yo, later, Pete. How about a round or two? Sweet little 45 swing for its mommy. Hers after every shot now. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot.
what you got. What I like to hear. Wow, my microphone was off that whole time. Crap. So, what I did was, <laughs> I leveled my intelligence to 7, picked up mechanic under the technical ability skill tree, which would allow us to get more components when we disassemble items, and it'll make it a lot faster to grind money. After this, I unequipped all of my guns and disassembled anything and everything I could in my inventory because it was all useless. And then I sold all the components that I just disassembled, which gave us a lot of money. I also just set a waypoint to a ripper dock in the north side of Watson. That's very, very important. Keep that in mind. Take a pulsar to a job like this? Are you stupid? Woman of the hour. Jeez. It just took you long you enough. Your hands. Looked up an appetite yeah. just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J.O.B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, chica. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own, man. man. No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Space. Choose orbital air. Gracias, adios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with Thanks, the scabs. Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Dock. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Yeah, we're going to a Ripper Dock, just not the Ripper Dock. Not just yet. Stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Yeah, we're just going to completely ignore Jackie's instructions and go to that waypoint instead, that Ripper Dock. We're going to Pershing Street. To a little place I like to call Soda Land. It's called Soda Land because there's a bajillion vending machines.
I can almost write an entire essay on soda crafting at this point. Fortunately, I never have to do it again, because soda crafting sucks. And you're about to see why firsthand. All NCPD subcons. APP out for suspect accused of organized crime activity in the Wall Street and Shipyard Way. Scavengers led by Elena Sidorova, who's been armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. So, now that we're here, we are going to use all of our eddies to buy as many drinks as we can. Specifically drinks, because you cannot deconstruct, um, you cannot deconstruct food items. There's a much better and much faster method of glitchlessly grinding money than this called medcrafting, which will not give you carpal tunnel or wear out the switches on your keyboard. But yeah, fortunately, I never do this again for the rest of the run. I only did it once because I didn't know about med crafting at this point when I was recording this segment. So when using the vending machines, go from the left button to the right button, as the machines will stop spitting out a specific kind of drink after a certain amount of time, even when the vending machine is not tapped out and you have money. Just like in real life, these vending machines will steal your money so whenever you see it stop spitting out a specific kind of drink, you gotta stop mashing the button and switch over to the next button. Otherwise they're just going to steal your money. Gotta get a good pull on those sodas. Man, it's times like this that I wish I could speed up the video. Unfortunately, I uh, I don't think that it's a good idea to speed up the video. Because the last time I tried speeding up videos, I wound up getting pretty horrible audio desync. So if you don't want to watch this, I mean, I would just recommend just skipping past it. By the way, a little tip for you guys. You can skip past things by either hitting the right or left key on your keyboard or the J and L keys on your keyboard as well. Just a little uh, YouTube shortcut slash trick. Really, really handy. Or if you're watching on mobile, you can just double tap the right or left side of the screen if it's in full screen and you can just advance by 10 seconds or something like that so you people complaining about me keeping cutscenes yeah if you don't want to watch if you don't want to watch that shit you can just skip past it yourself i'm not going to edit it out i like keeping my cutscenes in my videos other people like it too Sure does take a while if they're like ten dollars a pop I'm trying to grind up like 500 something odd sodas okay that one just stopped spitting so switching buttons and it ran out like almost as soon as i switched the button there's like a randomized amount in these uh, soda machines if you save and reload these vending machines will replenish but there now i'm out of money so now we're going to walk up to Doc Ryder over here, and as you can see, I'm just going to disassemble everything. All of the soda I just bought. Now watch my components. Look at all those components. You just get an absolutely ludicrous number of them. Of course, if we did this with med crafting, I'd be able to get epic components as well. Epic and rare components. 
see what's good. Take your pick. Also got another level on crafting. Uh, now we're going to sell these components to Doc Ryder. And then we're going to buy the Karinzakov implant so that I can utilize some movement tech called K-hopping, which I will explain in the next segment. I also wanted to look at uh, some of his other offerings because self-ice is actually a very good one, but it requires 10 intelligence to get. I think there was nothing stopping me from actually just like buying it. I just couldn't equip it yet. Not until I got 10 intelligence. Just selling until he has like $2 left. And then we're going to exit. And then we're just going to buy more soda. Until all the vending machines here are tapped. I have no goddamn idea how long it takes to grind each of these vending machines, but it's always a random amount of time every time. Just because vending machines just have a random amount in them every time on each of the buttons. Can't I specify it on the timeline with new YT features? Does such a feature exist? Maybe I should. I will look into that. Thank you, Twitch chat. Yeah, there's not much, not much more of this to go. I'm just... I do this several more times, but I'm not going to include any more soda crafting after the end of this seg segment, because med crafting is a lot easier, a lot simpler, and also like 300% more brain dead to do, so... I always like to remark that that girl on the vending machine is really, really happy to be drinking her juice box. Really, really, really happy. So once all the machines are tapped, we can disassemble the sodas again. Rinse, repeat, ad nauseum. And then we are going to skip time 24 hours. Vendors will refresh their stock and cash reserves every 24 hours. Personally, I think, think that system is just time padding, but whatever. I just keep doing soda crafting until I get 50k euro dollars. And I'm going to grind it off stream. Not grind it off stream, grind it off, off camera. So I'll see you guys next segment. All right, fast forward. Off camera, I got all the money I needed. Around 100,000 eddies to be exact. I needed those eddies to buy Karenzikov, Double Jump, a new cyber deck, and to pay off the Maelstrom guy at the start of the next mission. So I got it all. I'm headed back to the mega building where V's apartment is. And this is the means by which I'm going to do this. It's called K-hopping. With the Karenzikov implant, you can slow down time by double tapping a dodge in a direction while guarding. And if you keep doing this while time is speeding back up, you will build up crazy speed when time resumes. Other physics rules still apply, so you will stop completely when you take fall damage, but your momentum will store, and whenever you resume, like, you'll just keep sliding around for a little bit. 
Cars are also a bit of a nuisance as well. It'll take a bit of skill to be able to move to where you want to move with K-hopping. The easiest way to do K-hopping is to just hold your guard button and keep hitting dodge forward over and over and over again. And then it'll just launch you forward whenever time resumes, basically. But whenever time resumes, you gotta let go and jump. And by jumping, you maintain your momentum by just bunny hopping along after you've uh, released all of that stored up speed. Maintaining momentum is made even easier with the reinforced tendons or the double jump implant, which we are going to get from Vic Vector in a moment. course we're on our way there right now. The reason we went back to the mega building is because I didn't uh, swing by the uh, fast travel point right by Vic Vector's clinic. I probably should have actually in the last segment. That would have actually sped things up by quite a bit. So I wouldn't have had to go back to the mega building and down that extra long elevator ride. Also yeah these uh, these Pedestrian vehicles just don't give any fucks. There's our fast travel point that I could have activated. Just gonna zip right by Co Carnage over here. Bye bye, Co Carnage. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. No, we won't. Mm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in. You peruse and choose while I scan. And see what's going on inside. So in this menu, ocular system, we have to choose the Kuroshi Optics Mark 1. We gotta choose the Ballistics Coprocessor. And then I'm going to buy reinforced tendons for 45,000 eddies. Mark 1, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. That major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know. Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean... Not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? OK. 
Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. The best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues... Mm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack. Or oh, rather! Past Carsey rears his ugly head again. He forgot to stop and talk to Jackie before trying to go to Dex's car. But that's okay. We can just K-hop right back. Any day now, Pass Carsey. There you go. But you are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes. Shut up, Co Carnage. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in the ride. Right. Really, you? Really. Hmm. Okay, do my. Gotta run. V, listen. Shut up, Regina. Nobody cares. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You are fucking obnoxious. Please, shut up. All of your calls interrupt my K-hopping. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You are not Goro Majima. Shut up. You are really annoying. This is really, really annoying. Please stop. Please stop calling me. Please stop. I don't want to hear it. I'm not doing any of your missions. Please shut up. Please stop, Regina. That's enough. I'm done. Please. You're, you're, you're hindering my progress. Let me in the car. Regina, please. Regina, please. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Regina. Shut up. Nobody cares. Shut up. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? This some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. I mean, riddles? No, Miss V. Ontology. All right, Just listen because. close. Scanning a serious yeah, job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. 
Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. So Dex drops us off in Kabuki, where we need to go anyway. Calls are kind of annoying in this game, because during a call you can't proc Karenza Cobb or activate a fast travel point. To Dex. Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Claim to want to check our pro cred. To me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clubbed it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Aye, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Setting a waypoint for Lizzie's then bar. There's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? 
Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. But I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. <laughs> So you have to wait for calls to be over in order to be able to add a fast travel point on your map, which is super annoying when you are trying to do what I am doing in the video right now and unlock, unlock fast travels during forced dialogue. About all I can do really is go to Lizzie's during the call with Jackie and then use the fast travel point to get back to Kabuki when we get there. When we travel back to Kabuki, we're going to call our car and go directly to where I tried to drive earlier with the fast travel point before. That's where Jackie will be waiting. We're not going to bother with the uh, Militech contact. Because really, it's just going to add a bunch of unnecessary complications. The simplest, safest, and best move is to just go ahead and pay off the Maelstrom gang and just buy the bot from them. Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Is that an arch? Egg. Huh. Don't know how you could scrape. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? We buy it. I got the Eddies. So yeah. I grinded up the Eddies so I could just go ahead and pay them. So that way we don't have to fight Maelstrom. <sighs> don't know you. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. And then on top of that, we uh, don't have to fight Militech on the way out if we choose to uh, not use the Militech money to pay off Maelstrom. This is pretty much the only way to guarantee not taking damage on this mission. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Anti-personnel nine. Directional shrapnel's better. My oh, favorite. V. Coming. Subtle. Right, chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. So what do you want? You got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. Well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. 
this so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Jack, Say your ass. sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on, not lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic cabo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep. We'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Ugh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Got the scratch. Be chill. I am very fucking chill. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? So <laughs> he ain't dead? So, gonna consider my offer now? Here you go. Paid in for. Uh-huh. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Now take the damn bot and get the fuck out of my factory. And you can tell Dex to suck my shiny chrome cock. Got what we came for. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Piece of shit. All right. Better show you guys out. What the hell for? We know the way. Easy, compadre. He'll be outside in no time. Get it? know you're loyal? Doubt he ever gives shit like that a thought. Know what he believes in? What drives him? Chaos. Break. Predictable. He said a thing, he did that thing. With Roy... Bjorn, look. Tell Del to meet some new friends. Fuck, Fuck you looking at me, Zack. Now, dum dum. Yeah, gonna show me your dildo collection. Now, now shut the it. Skull and get back to work. Seeing how much scratch you make off of them, I figured you'd like them more. What? 
Better chip or two loose, you know that? And, uh, avoid coming back. It's good advice. Repeat business, not really our thing. That guy rubbed my dick the wrong way. Dumb dumb? I mean, what the fuck kind of nick is that anyway? It's possible to make NPCs speed up during walking-talking sequences by running into their backs as well, or sometimes running ahead of them, depending. This is for passing right through. Oh, there he goes. No begging, no debt, no corpo strings attached, and the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah. Cause I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. There's our car. The Maelstrom guys are just holding on to it for us. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity. And brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones, and you know how to use them, <laughs> you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet. Stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. The street'll remember. Uh, later then. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. Do something to make me feel alive again. He could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. Ducked in time to avoid death sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. Even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. Don't mind me. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo one? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. Paid out of my own pocket. That bot ain't no bargain basement tech. That it is not. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lifty Bar. Good luck. When's yep, that motorcycle, those physics, functioning completely as intended. So I'm back in Kabuki because I need to go to this ripper dock to buy a new Looking cyber tech. Come on then. Time to tinker. We gotta buy the uh, Biotech Sigma Mark II for 15,000 eddies. The Biotech Sigma Mark II adds four quick hack slots and six memory addresses for breach protocol. Next, we're going to head to the Netrunner store at the top of this pagoda over here. If I can find the door. Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Buying these quick hack components along with the free ping, because we'll need these quick hack components later. Helps. For the Breach Protocol minigame, the way it works is every time you click a hexadecimal number, it keeps alternating between row, column, row, column, row, column. So you have to chart out a route 
before you click the first one. That way you can get as many hacks as you can in one breach protocol. And I'm just going to re-equip all of my quick hacks while I'm here, while I'm at it. Use ping really quick. Clear the mission. And now we're going to fast travel back to Lizzie's bar, where we activated the uh, fast travel four earlier. Green deal. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Dom. What a sweet little face. I'll do whatever I can. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu? At Mateo, we're just gonna buy every single drink. We got money to burn. And we can just deconstruct all of these and make back even more money later. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Scent song. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl really? like? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot, you got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes loyalty and predictability they value above all else then there's the other kind dex's kind let's cut to the chase what do you got for me 
Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Mm. Jacking Could off too in those boxes. Like just like you say. No. I it yeah, can be a yeah, very I'm useful ready. tool. Mm -hmm. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. I know how annoying these brain Judy dance sequences She's are. Mox too. Uh -huh. Besides, we go back, uh, years. So I'll just scan only what you need to scan to get past them. This is important. Judy's always been there for me. Mm. Always helped out. Yeah. I trust Sorry, her. I didn't mean to. But she's a mox. I'll do whatever not I can. The latest to member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BD yet. What do you think? 
will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample PD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt it. it could feel the guy's pain, his, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around free. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Can Give I, it a I... try. Wait, rewind, roll it back to the top. All good, neat. 
Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in the special cash camp and something you can go second to Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of rosehip, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on true flavors. Cody and yeah, Serpent. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Photograph! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! shot him and he never saw it coming but you will here it comes my favorite part of the game see the blinking thing over the entrance surveillance cam must have caught our shooter you'll see in a sec cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk roll back to where the screens in the kids field of vision then scan it Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why, cause you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. 
Call T Bug and you'll dial it. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Conpecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Conpecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. somewhere. Look for them. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. 
I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Come on in. So we're gonna head to the afterlife next. We can just fast travel there from Lizzie's as the ride along sequence with Dex to Sean opened up the fast travel spot since his car drove right by the afterlife along the way. But Pass Carsey didn't think to do that until Pass Carsey called his car and started driving. So he turned around and went back to the fast travel spot. But yeah. Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know. Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life. Yeah! The afterlife. Known far and wide, that name. Oh, yeah? 
Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs were scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, Hey, Charles. Hey. Grab a seat. Susan Forest, Boa Boa, maybe even. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all the Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. To hit in the major uh. leagues. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, oh, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scab hunt. A few Reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. It's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question from Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she spoiled. Mm-hmm. 
bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Debs? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. All clear to me. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine, 35, and that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. <laughs> Been a while since I got a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing, kompeki has got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its cage. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Gee, oh. Thanks, team. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, is my guess. And what do we do while we sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty. Don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior? The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any 
sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me. You'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? At least we got some clue where his 65%'s going, huh? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. I know, Jack. Kind of feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. But I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Kapeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? We are nearing our Got destination. Static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. Shit's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Hannah. Let's go. Josh Kevorkian here. And as always, your... Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Remember, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to Welcome meet Hajime to Taki, flat. military tech department rep. Papers are for the flathead. No swear. Welcome to Kempeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Kempeki Plaza? We are arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, you are here to see Takisan. Am I right? Please. Accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With the delay on Medikey, cause some cyber psycho blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New 
Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for the convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. The bar don't look too shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. I could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. I'm gonna look around here. Oh shit, is that world famous game designer? Uh, what's his name? ヘレヨシヨシマ。例えば嬉しいけど物悲しいとか。落ち着いてるけど何か不安を感じるとか。Hey。Hey。僕の作品知ってるの。新しい企画のオファー。Hey. Hey. Death Stranding sucked anyway. I'm out of here. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Flathead prepped to go. Almost there. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Charge it a hundred. Got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Anasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all okay, flathead's in. You. Patching you into next cam now. Uh, 
bug? What makes you got a hitch? You? What now? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds them. Okay, Note out of the side said, sorry, uh, uh, let's see what's on the subnet. There was blood All right, everywhere. But at least Terrarium's got its hemp and air quality control. Am I the only one that just gets puked? Great, yeah. Sick the flathead on it. Where's the damn justice in it? Hey, Bug, it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Okay. He's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. So weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize them. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Head into the chair, V. Jack in. Oh, got him. Love those demons. Bloodhead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. What do you think? Why'd you give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. Got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Maybe he just wanted out of the system. So then why'd he come back? Tough to ditch the system when the system's your own family. Black sheep, still a sheep, huh? One way to put it. Crawled back on all fours, tail between his legs. Fucking cheap-ass rebel.
rebel. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Buck. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one of mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. While we're uh, looking for the switch, we also need to grab Yorinobu's gun because we can attach a silencer to it in a bit. Looks like Yorinobu left us a parting gift. Hey, much. Bingo. Got something ejected. Come here, V. Right now. Jack in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, bug. Give me two. They got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. Guess that that's a yes. Good, let's go. Oh, 
私の息子だ例のものを回収しましょうか私がやる言ってくれ私が気づかないとでも思ったのかそもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろうあんたの問題点はそこだ世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる傲慢だよよりのぶどうしてここへ直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ立場を思い知らせるためにか出る杭が打たれるとよく言うだろう自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか貴様こそ自分が何をしようとしたか分かっているのか私たちの功績を野蛮人に渡すなど私たちの未来を<笑>俺たちの未来<笑>俺たちなんかの間違いだろあんたは自分のことしか考えてないそしてこの会社のことしか I wish to put the hotel on lockdown. May I ask why? Saburo Arasaka has been murdered. Code Red initiated. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. What's the matter? Who? Who are you going to kill me? Who are you going to kill me? What the fuck just happened in there? Your Nobu just moved Subaru. What? No fucking pops. You know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. So 
Bug. Need you to get us out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. Okay, got something. Window now. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh fuck. Oh no 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 not now. I've been made. Bug. Pinche <sighs> Dios Santo bendito. Just lost team. Fuck. Fucking major leagues. Happy now, Jackie. Case is damaged. Biochip integrity is it. Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk will lose it. Well, someone's gotta do it. You okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Hell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we must be quick. Jesus oh, Christ, that looks like it hurt. Great. Now let's get out of here. So here's where the actual hazardous part of Compeki Plaza begins. We used the last segment to get all the cutscenes and prepare, and now we gotta wink our way out now. And there's a lot of enemies between us and the exit. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Compeki Plaza. I'm using Breach Protocol and Ping as much as possible to gain some extra EXP and perk points through the Breach Protocol tree and the Quick Hacking tree. We're not going to be using any Quick Hacks against these guys because it'll aggro them both. But there you see I got a Breach Protocol level pretty fast. Uh, 
Silencer will come in handy. After we loot the bodies, I'm dumping all my attribute points into intelligence, then going to the quick hacking skill tree and dumping my perk points into maxing out bloodware for 30% extra damage, biosynergy so we recharge our ram significantly faster, and forget-me-not which will give us one ram unit every time we take down an enemy affected by ping. Basically, the effect stacks up really high, and the only thing bottlenecking us will be our cooldowns. After that, we equip the Shigure submachine gun, and then put a laser and silencer on the Congo, so that we can use it to quietly kill KO'd guards for extra HP from stealth after knocking them out. When you see an enemy highlighted in orange, it's an enemy netrunner. If you're running a netrunner build, it is important that you get the drop on them first before you start going crazy with quick hacks. Otherwise, you will either have your position revealed or you will get hit by a quick hack that causes damage, such as combustion. So our target priority in pretty much any given situation as a stealth netrunner is to knock out netrunners first while remaining stealthy. If you have a quick hack that can beat them in one hit, that works too, but otherwise the best policy would be to sneak up on them and knock them out. I had to wait a little while for that guy to move forward, but yeah, so shut off the camera with a quick hack as it won't draw attention, then knock this guy out, then slowly creep up on the net runner while using ping to farm EXP. Basically all you need to know is that breach protocol levels up every time you use quick hacks to interact with the environment, and yeah, you get, you get a lot of crazy levels pretty early, a lot of extra perk points. It helps. Then we'll drag this guy backwards and go to sleep. These next two guards, we gotta wait them out. I don't recommend using distract enemies there, actually. I will say ping. Gotta be careful with the distract enemies. The next two guards. Yeah, so I uh, grab the first card, then wait a moment because my reboot optics was uh, a little low on RAM. I needed five RAM in order to do that. And then we reboot optics on the second guard. Get him next. And as usual, cap them in the head after there's no more guards with an earshot to get more EXP. Their HP is at zero after you knock them out, so a single headshot will kill them. In this room, we got to crouch walk in a circle to get behind these heavy Arasaka troops. They're kind of tricky, but we just got to remain on pace. That's all we got to do. They're never going to look in this direction. They're not going to look counterclockwise, so we got to we got to move clockwise. We got to hug this wall to the left so we can get behind the first guy. Now I'll use Reboot Optics on the second guy, crouch up behind him, and rush him when Reboot Optics procs, and there it is. Almost got me. And I'm about to show you firsthand why you need to be careful with Reboot, or sorry, Distract Enemies. I was trying to farm EXP by using Distract Enemies on all these monitors here. But, uh, I wound up distracting one of the guards outside. Cover me, v. Pinged him, though, so I can see him through the walls. Ping is exceptionally handy because you can use it to see enemies through walls and whatnot, get the drop on them. But yeah, I was kind of forced to, uh, reboot this guy's Resistance optics. I'm surprised you didn't see the body over there. So generally the safest way to knock out any lone enemy is to reboot their optics and rush them. They won't attack unless you actually hit them. Otherwise they'll only react to your footsteps. Much of the enemy AI in this game is pretty glitchy when detecting the player, so reboot optics is kind of a must.
But yeah, ping off of anything and everything you can, because ping is quintessential towards your situational awareness. And ping also gets exceptionally broken late game. Netrunner builds are completely and utterly broken in this game. So yeah, this guy, get behind him. Got some stealthy XP there. And before we take on the guys going into this lounge, we gotta turn off the camera. Then we gotta follow the first guy real closely while his buddy goes further in. Just gotta wait for them to start walking here. So yeah, follow the first guy real closely. Grab him. Drag him out. We have to get out of sight before we knock him out. And then we'll go in. And reboot optics on the second one. Just stick and move. Wait for the breach to finish and rush. Oh shit! It's impossible to knock that guy out without using reboot optics on him because he looks around a lot. When all the enemies in earshot are taken down, we shoot them in the head. So the reason I don't just shoot them in the head first is because guns in Cyberpunk are all based on a scaling level system. Unlike in more traditional immersion sims, such as Deus Ex, where enemy types have fixed stats throughout a playthrough. So a headshot is just going to aggro a mob and do the exact opposite of what you want it to do. Cyberpunk is more RPG heavy in that regard. Examining the elevator, we'll spawn four more guards on the other side of the hall. One is going to intercept us after we destroy this camera. I reboot his optics first. And drag him over here and knock him out. Also, K hopping is silent. Next, we have to worry about the Arasaka officer, as he has the key for the elevator. Trying to be, trying to be careful, trying to look for the Arasaka officer, trying to see what he's going to do. Because he's supposed to go into this glass partition over here, but he's taking a while. I think I just got here a little too quickly is all. After he's done talking to that dude, he should be moving towards the glass partition. Yeah, once again, just pinging everything. Don't mind me. Any day now, he'll go into that glass partition and we can uh, sneak up on him. There he goes. But yeah, the eyeball gauge. They won't actually like aggro to you until the eyeball gauge is done all the way. Got to reboot his optics next. We can just go nice and slow. Just get far away from the other dudes. Rush him. And knock him out. Next up, these two guys. We have to creep up on this dude over here really, really slowly. And try to do it at such an angle where the other guy doesn't see us, but of course the other guy is like danger close to seeing us. Probably would have been better to just like reboot that dude's optics and just grab this guy. I don't know. Wasn't able to figure out how. I kind of panicked and killed him a little early. But yeah, after we reboot his optics. We gotta make sure that we turn off that camera, then we rush him. I almost didn't turn the turn off the camera before rushing him, and I would have gotten seen for sure. What? Saburo, 
Arasaka. 150 years. And today, of all fucking days, that's like some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Think all this is funny? Yeah, I do. Your liver could be fucked. Had it coming. <laughs> I kind of don't want to say anything to Jackie because all you do is berate him and he's dying. But yeah, stealth on its own is pretty difficult. Careful now. If you're not running that runner. So now that we're back in the lobby, our first move is to knock out this assault squad soldier and turn off that camera across the room. Quick, hide. You don't even really need to hack this. The main reason I did it was to just get a little bit of extra EXP. Because the amount of Euro dollars and components that you get for hacking one of these things is pretty peanuts. It's just a lot better to take advantage of med crafting and wait 20, waiting 24 hours to replenish store stocks. So you can just keep buying like epic, legendary, quick hack components and whatnot from a Netrunner shop in Pacifica later. So like jacking into computers to get that stuff is pretty useless. So for these last two guards in the lobby, I uh, actually fucked up pretty badly. I was trying to be clever by uh, running quick hacks on both of them, hoping that I'd be able to knock them out without actually having to uh, rush them or anything like that, or at least knock out one of the guards and uh, reboot optics on the second guy and rush him. But, I mean, it backfired pretty horribly because if you use too many quick hacks on guards that are like with an eye shot of each other, then they try to ping you. And there it is. And if they reveal your position like this, then you enter combat mode immediately. Of course, using Net hacks is still a pretty easy way to be able to just like pop it, pop out and do damage. Fortunately, Jackie was uh, drawing the fire of this guy. So like getting in some long range headshots, I was able to work with that. And then the second guy, I um, he was like hung up on the wall over there. So I just used the surveillance camera, did camera control. Just quick hacked him through the wall over there. He's just gonna keep taking uh, keep taking cover over and over again. I thought about resetting here because I was kind of worried that I was gonna take damage, which is why I like called up the uh, menu for just a moment. But yeah, this took goddamn forever. Unless you have better quick hacks, it's going to take goddamn forever. It probably would have been much better to grab the first guy after rebooting the optics of the second guy and timing both of their cycles. 
I'll probably just do that next time. The guard didn't see us, he was just blind firing, but now that he's seen us, he's just gonna like jump back behind cover. He's pretty skittish, like that. Now I'm just pinging shit and waiting for my MP to come back up. My Rams, sorry. Waiting it out, waiting it out, waiting it out. Now all the guards are down. As long as nobody saw us or anything, I'm pretty sure they won't send like drones after us. Just gotta stay perfectly stealthy. Otherwise we have a lot of enemies to fight that we really don't want to fight. Yeah, I don't think destroying cameras actually gives you EXP. I just kinda did it anyway. Still gotta wait for Jackie. Trying to run into his back, see if I can get him to speed up. Doesn't always work, sadly. To the garage, we have to rush Delamain before the other guys aggro. As soon as the cutscene tether initiates, we have iframes and we're good. So, just gotta wait for the guards to start shooting at Delamain. Now. Not bad. Client feedback noted. How's our ride look? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Please remain calm. Calm! Roadblock ahead. I can't for it. A hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on us. Leave it to me! Of course, we have a vehicle shooting section, which is what the Shikure and our quick hacks are for. Unfortunately, we don't get to avoid damage here again, so the Shikure is just here to out DPS the enemy again.
Wells has passed. Where shall I take his remains? What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells' closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandro Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. The end major leads, Jack. Man. So before going to Dex, we're going to dismantle all of our consumables and then sell them at the drop box outside of the no tell motel for a profit. Also going to dismantle all of these extra weapons and some such because they're just going to weigh us down later. It does take a while to do this, but I mean, it's kind of worth the money. Although I think maybe next time I'm not going to try to loot so much. Because really the whole reason that I do it anyway is not for components, but... Well, it is for components, but... <laughs> it's just so that I have components to sell, but if I just stick to the plan and... You know... Be buying things, dismantling, and reselling, then I'm going to get as many components and as much money as I want, so... Picking up stuff just kind of doesn't matter sometimes. At least for the build that I'm running. By the way, by telling Delamine to send Jackie back to his mother, we get an additional side quest. For some reason, the game doesn't like it when I try to dismantle frag grenades. Selling rifle ammo. I'll just go ahead and sell the Shigure. Don't really need it for much anything. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jaster, he out in the car? Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor. His majesty. Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead. You're the one who got us into this mess. Let's start with your prep work. You had no idea Saburo Arasaka would be at the hotel? I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us. 
No shit. Tell that to the soccer ninjas. They send after you. All right, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Get yourself cleaned up. You're a mess. Can't risk it, V. Remember our first combo? Seems I've chosen a quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me.